Okay, this is a little video demonstration of what happens when the APM2 loses power. Uh, the question being, uh, do the motors stop or not? So what we have here is uh, an APM2 with a little MediaTek on the top. Uh, it's got a little USB cable coming out here. Um, and that's going to be plugged into my computer to provide, so the computer's going to provide the, uh, the power to the, the APM2 so that we can disconnect it quickly and easily. Uh, then we have a, uh, a motor and a little ESC over here. Uh, it's a 3DR ESC. Um, and uh, so you can see that the signal cable from the ESC is going into the APM2. Um, the ground is connected as well, but not the power. So the power is not, the power from the ESC's back is not going into the APM2. Um, and uh, right in here's a, a separate battery. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in the uh, plug in the battery, I guess. I don't think the order matters. So here goes the battery. Which should, so you can hear the ESC fire up. And I've also plugged in the USB. So the APM2 is fired up. See the little lights flashing. Now I'm going to arm it. It's arming. Move that a little bit further away. And then, whoa, just to prove that the motor is spinning. Okay, there, so the motor is spinning now. And I'm going to move power to the APM2 by unplugging it from the uh, USB port. And the ESC stops. It takes a while to stop, but it doesn't stop immediately. It sounds like it slows down slowly. Let's just uh, plug it in again. So the APM2 is plugged in again. It's got power. The motor spins. Let's spin it way up. So it's spinning at pretty much full power now. Now we're going to remove power to the APM2. So it just slows down. There we go. That's what happens.